dance in Hawaii has evolved from its traditional origins of hula into a hypnotic array of styles and techniques displayed in theaters across the islands. But if you take away the stage and lift the dancers 20 to 30 feet above the ground, what's created is a harmony of grace, balance, and motion as unique as Hawaii itself. It's called aerial dance, where performers hang, swing, spiral, and wrap their bodies in an amazing display of athleticism and fearlessness. With no safety lines, performers must rely on their training and skill to ensure their safety and dazzle audiences from the sky. It's the kind of show you might expect to find as part of Cirque du Soleil, but on Oahu and Maui, the glitz of the stage has been replaced by the power of nature as Hawaii's only aerial acrobatic troupe, Samadhi Hawaii, takes the aerial arts outdoors. The outside is amazing, especially in Hawaii, is so much. <laughs> the energy of this place is very, very intense and open, so I feel that it gets me to my innermost strength. It's really wonderful to be in Hawaii um, doing aerial work. Where else do you get to be hooked up to a tree in the middle of the Pacific Ocean in the most beautiful environment on this planet? You feel one with the trees, one with the surroundings. We often um, hook up to a banyan tree, so you really feel like you're part of the aerial root system. So it's beautiful. I don't think you can do this anywhere else. I think the movement and the dance that's born here in the islands um, is really special. And I think a lot of it has to do with being inspired by this land and all the culture and spirituality that's here. So I love to create the environment that I'm gonna hang from. So it's to integrate with the place. There's even an apparatus called a tetrahedron, co-designed by aerial acrobat Abby Sved and her former partner, which allows performers to take their art to just about any location, inside or out. We can go anywhere and near a pool or near the ocean or inside or outside on the lawn and perform, to set it up and perform. The possibilities are endless. We have really good riggers and really good uh, tree people, doctors. So once those things are all set, we can actually do this kind of thing and be in this lovely environment and be home in Hawaii. There's a lot of big companies on the mainland, maybe a lot more opportunities, but I don't think that they could ever quite match what we have here for dance. We really are a collaborative team and we do um, our own choreography, our, our own style. So each of us within the company has different assets, of course. But as a whole, I think Samadhi is unique in that we're all dancers. And our style as a company is very poetic. It's all about the flow and it's about moving to the music. So we're bringing dance to the air. Andrea, after all these years, why not go to Vegas? Why not go to Montreal? Why not go to the big cities? Why, why Hawaii? Well, okay, first of all, I've been there. <laughs> I come from a really big city, and Hawaii is where I want to be. Hawaii is where I, what I love, is what I have chosen. I say that I, ha I was born in Brazil, I have a Brazilian blood, but my heart is Hawaii. And my most fulfilling jobs I've ever done in my life have been in collaboration with Hawaiian Entertainment. I mean, look, we're at the Hawaii State Art Museum right next door to the Iolani Palace. This place is historical and I'm performing here. So this to me is, there's a lot of mana in this place. But these amazing locations aren't the only reason these performers rise to the challenge of aerial arts. What I love about aerial is that, it, number one, for a dancer or any performer, it's one of the most challenging things you could, you could do for your body and for the mind and the spirit. And you, of course, have to be in a very meditative state when you're performing. You know, we're not on, um, we're not hooked up to any harness, so there's a lot of risk. And it's just very unique, so there's not a lot of it going on, and it, it brings a lot of joy to anyone that's watching it. So that, that's another reason why I love it so much. Well, I love doing aerial acrobatics because it's a form of meditation for me. I've always been 
able to quiet my mind if I'm active with my body. And so if I have a strenuous workout, then I can get more peaceful and quiet. And I love doing it. I love the spirit of the wind. And when I'm upside down and feel the wind blowing, it makes me feel really free. It makes me feel special because not like at my school, 900 kids are over and I'm the only one that can really do it. So it makes me feel special. The lightness of it, the, the no gravity feeling is amazing. You can really take your stretches and your shapes that you're making to another level, being in the air. It is a whole other experience, you know? I love this audience here because if you're doing something from your heart, they truly appreciate it. That feeling you cannot compare to any job of a million dollars. The community take and give is what I love. The preparation for this art is incredibly precise, not just for the dancers, but also for the assembly of the ring and the tissue that allow them to perform. It's a lot of safety, a lot of focus, a lot of discipline and determination in terms of performing, staying in shape, and training consistently enough so that you can actually do this. There's a lot involved. Just the inner ring, I use a double point. It's two points linked to a shackle, to a rope with an eye hook, to a shackle, to a swivel, to a shackle, to a carabiner, to a bigger swivel, to a link, to a cable, to a carabiner. So it's a lot. Once I get into this, it's easy. That one is a very simple rig. But once I get into that one, it's hard. <laughs> I feel that I've been inspired so much by this place that I want to give back to this place. And I've been given this kuleana of fulfilling my responsibility. I'm being put in this position of service to this place that I have to do this work here. And it's something new that was brought in here and I'm lucky that I was a pioneer and I feel responsible for where it's gonna go. I really do. It's very fulfilling when you do your work out of service. Um, it was born here and it, I want to give it back here. And <laughs>